so sick. Five, look at that. Oh my God, it's clearing. Yeah. It's not that good. Philippines is better. If you're gonna go to a tropical island or go on a tropical holiday, Philippines number one. Everything's a lot cheaper, and to be honest, the islands are a lot better. Not as many people. Philippines over Phuket any day. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Look at this. This is amazing. I know. Oh. It is so incredible. <laughs> you, have, you have the bike running. You just run off. <laughs> wow. That's majestic! It looks like heaven, oh my god! <laughs> this is so beautiful, guys! Man, it is... What the hell? We're in the middle of North Dakota Bato, man. It's so rare. Who goes here? No one. No one comes here. I looked at the logbook, I didn't see one foreigner. Oh, there's some, there's some locals here. Look at this. An infinity, and a natural infinity pool. Hard to beat. And the team as well. I would say our favorite yeah. trip we've yeah. ever been on. That's, that's a big call, cool, but up until one this of point, the best. For sure. One of the best, if not the best. I'm already making a call. This is the craziest tour we've ever been on. So I'm glad we went to Koron. To Komodo and this. But this is only our first stop, so it could be even this better. Is our, this is, I'm sorry, but this is better than Komodo already. <laughs> This is absolutely insane. This is one of the most magical places we've ever been. It's delicious, and this is by all means the most impressive and diverse and grandest buffet that I've ever eaten at in my life. Uh, the Thailand was cool, but I think this tops it just slightly. I think. I've never been anywhere like this. Let's put it that way. Just look at this. This. Okay, Thailand, forget it. As longtime viewers know, there are few things I love more than pigs roasting over an open pit. And it has been claimed many times that Filipino lechon or whole roasted piggy is the best in the world. I've had a lot of good pigs. Oh, there he is. So that's a tall order. Fighting words, in fact. Could it be the best? I consider myself an expert on pig, and this is looking pretty good. What do you oh, think? Yeah? Then I'll tell you, the skin's extraordinary. I mean, that's just... 
That's like candy. Even the sound is, oh, man. In the end, it all seemed to work out. Augusto had a fine time with his family and got a pretty spectacular meal for his troubles. I got the best pig ever, which means a very productive day's work as far as I'm concerned. I hope I showed at least a slice or two of what's really fun and really delicious about the Philippines. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you so much. An amazing meal, and I should mention, best pig ever. Thanks. Best pig best ever, far and away. And I have had ever. many pigs. <laughs> Joel. I do think that the Philippines has the best beaches in the world. And I've been to Thailand, to Hawaii, to Australia, oh, to all of the other places. Hawaii? You know, Mauritius, everywhere that's got nice beaches. They have the Caribbean, I've been all over. Um, and to me, the Philippines has the best beaches in the world. Yeah, I used to always want to go, I beg my parents, let's go to Hawaii. Like, why do you want to go to Hawaii? It's the same as the Philippines. Yes. And, like, I just never understood, but after being here and like really seeing the beaches, it is so amazing. I don't think anything else could compare. And beaches and stuff, it really is just an incredible place. And we can definitely see why it has been voted as the best island in the world. It has pretty much everything you'd expect from a yeah. tropical paradise island, I think. Yeah, yeah, we've been traveling for almost two years now. And we've been to, uh, most of the places that we've been to are like uh, islands because we love beaches. And we, we agree with the, the award and we, we love Palau and, and El Nido. And, yeah, we love this place. Yeah, especially El Nido and Coron. It's some of the most mind-blowing scenery you'll ever see by far. I think it was about 100 feet. If you watched our Bali series when we were in Bali, we saw the most amazing waterfalls, but the water was never this blue. No, Cebu has gorgeous. that Gatorade blue. That's insane. <laughs> said that not a lot of people come here and I'm still in awe because look at this like you gotta be like look at this so blue clear water and yeah. it's surrounded by coconut trees I think it's so pretty I feel like it's something that we would make artificially back home like at Kalahari this looks really fake because it's so pretty John Eric you gonna show us how it's done yep 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 <laughs> What a greeting. Yes, this oh is... goodness, this is service. Thank you. All right, guys. Amanpulo is by far one of the most posh hotels in the world that we've ever been to. It's on a private island in the middle of the Philippines. What's nice is it's authentic, but also unpretentious. I mean, a lot of hotels claim to be five-star, but Amanpulo sets the standard. The white sand beaches feel like they are out of a movie set here. They're so powdery soft. Look at this. Incredible. So nice. I think Shargao literally might take the cake for my favorite place I've ever traveled. I heard Shargao was great, but I never expected it to be this great. So I'm very, very, very happy. <laughs> so this is a truly world class beach. Now, there's one thing that didn't change about Boracay, and that is good food. Now, there's one thing the Philippines does better than any other country, and that is without a doubt their sunsets. Every single night, night after night, you can expect to see beautiful infernos, incredible clouds, and tonight is no exception. We just finished up dinner at the Coast Restaurant, and no more than 10 feet away, we are right on the beach enjoying a world-class sunset. Tonight's is a piece de resistance. the best in our conditions for the best photos so that's also why we're here in Batanes because we know the water here is always crystal clear
kind of day that I love, you know? Like, it's just, it's a good day. I don't know how the Philippines like, keeps doing it over and over again, but it's just beautiful, man. Look at that. Oh. And there's nobody here. That is perhaps the best thing about this island and about the Philippines is there's so many islands. You can go somewhere and like, we have the whole place to ourselves. And I don't know, call me selfish, but like I love to have a whole beach to myself. It just makes me so, so happy. So yes, best day ever. Wow, this is, so this is amazing. Oh. Wow. Gosh, it's, I have never seen such clear, pristine water in my whole freaking life. This is absolutely amazing. Check it out. What? It's incredible. So, uh, the sand is so white. And <laughs> the water's like, it's clearer than Boracay. I remember being in the water in Boracay and being like, wow, this is the clearest water I've ever seen. This is, this is better. And there's no one here. We're the only ones here. Absolutely incredible. Best water I've ever seen. Best beach I've ever been on. Easily. Easily. I think all four of us are in agreement that this is just absolutely amazing. And it's a Tuesday. Insane. It's a fiesta in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this one is great. It's just a little bit spicy. It's not really spicy. It just adds a, a different kind of flavor to it. Mainly a spicy flavor. This is probably one of the best foods I've had in my life. And absolutely my favorite thing I've eaten in the Philippines so far. And you know what? I think we should show you what it looks like from above. Let's, let's just go. Here we go. Isn't this place so beautiful? Visiting beautiful, beautiful spots and waterfalls and beaches. The Philippines beats Bali nine times out of 10. And that's just another thing that we really, really appreciate about this country and about these amazing islands around here. But it's definitely worth a visit. This is, this is ideally, this is one of the most beautiful beaches probably in the world. You know, when you've been wanting to go to a place like for, for a long time, for years, you kind of play it up in your head and you're also kind of asking yourself like, how, how good could it possibly be? It's much better than you expected and that's this place for me. It's funny, like when I filmed my first buffet in Vegas, I thought that's where the best buffet in the world is. But after having the buffets in Singapore, Vietnam, Hong Kong, and now here, guys, it ain't even close. This buffet in particular is unlike any I've ever been to before. It's like you're given a box of random Legos, in this case, food Legos, and you can make them into anything you want. Also, every ingredient in this quality, they, they make all their stuff in-house. That all equals to one of the best buffet experiences I've ever had. So far, I think this buffet Exactly the same. Exactly the same? Yeah. That, honest to God, is one of the best things I've ever eaten in my entire life. Mm -hmm. That, I'm not, I swear to you guys, mm -hmm. I swear on my life, that's one of the best things I've ever eaten. One more. I gotta say, I didn't expect it at like, Check it out. I mean, I knew that the malls in the Philippines are insane, but this truly is in the West. Should we just go? Yes. Let's go. So we're just gonna check out the mall. Probably gonna look for something to eat at this point already. And uh, yeah, man, I didn't expect it. A pretty luxurious, looks awesome. Impression, this place is sick. swam in more shades of blue water than we ever knew existed. I don't know if we can see anything anymore, but here are all the stars.
They're so tiny. Ugh, I wish my camera could pick up what I saw. Like my camera does not do it any justice. But let me just like try to explain it as well as I can so you could kind of visualize how I saw this tour through my eyes. First of all, this tour wasn't just to see fireflies, it was also to see the stars. And I had no idea that like stargazing was a part of the tour. And so like the, uh, the tour guide was, you know, flashing his little laser light, pointing out all the constellations and stuff. And I was just in awe. The stars were super clear. And I've got a thing for fireflies and stars already, so I'm like losing my mind. But then the tour guide said, hey, look into the water. And he took his paddle and he moved it through the water, and with the motion of the water, it all lit up with bioluminescent plankton. I've always wanted to see bioluminescent plankton. Oh, you know, when you've always wanted to see something and then you see it, especially when you weren't expecting to see it, it just hits you so hard. Everything around me was just like glittering and twinkling. The freaking fireflies to the left and the right, the stars above me and then below my butt was just bioluminescent plankton glittering and I had my hand in the water and they would light up whenever I would like uh, uh, run run my hand through the water. Ugh! And everything was just so peacefully calm and silent also. And I just had a moment with myself where I was like, this moment right now is my own little personal moment. No one else will know exactly how I feel right in this moment and it almost felt like time stopped. Go through there. It's better to go quick, 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 quick. Out. Easy, right? Oh my god, this is so beautiful. This is amazing over here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is like. It's not bad. The groups usually are quite small, so during these few days you really like become friends with the people that you were on. No Wi-Fi, no distractions, just pure nature into you. And I gotta say, it was one of the best experiences overall that I've had in all of my travels. I express enough how in love I am with the island and with its people. And maybe if you've been there before, share your stories. Is there anything I missed? Is there anything that you love to do or you really agree with? Is there anything on this list you didn't do but and didn't know about? Let me know. But until next time, thank you again for watching this. I can't express again like I keep saying how insanely and madly and deeply in love I am with Shargao. I will be going back 100%. If I could have stayed longer, I would have. Wow. This is how I always pictured the Philippines. This is incredible. Some of the bluest water that I've ever seen in my entire life. Quite a few boats here at the moment, which makes me even more excited that we're spending the night because hopefully everybody has to leave and later this evening we'll have the place all to ourselves. This is actual paradise here. I think this is the most beautiful island I have ever been on in my entire life. This is crazy. This is incredible. If you guys are coming from Malapasqua or one of the neighboring islands or even going right to Lete, there's a few ways you can get here, but it is totally worth the trek. with nature. 
It goes without saying that both of these countries have incredible nature and that is one of the main draws to both of these places. However, the Philippines is on another level. It is world, world class. And one of the main reasons for this, I think, is because of the lack of tourism compared to Thailand. So, with over 7,000 islands, it's actually relatively easy to find your own personal slice of paradise when compared with a country like Thailand. Thailand has many, many beautiful spots, but the problem is, is there's many, many people who yeah. have gone to visit these Enjoying places. Enjoying those beautiful spots. So, we would probably give Thailand 9 out of 10 for nature. Philippines, you got 10 out of 10, I'm afraid. It's also worth noting that it's not all about the beaches. There are other things to go and see aside from those. So you have amazing mountains, rice fields, and landscapes in both of these countries. And they are actually both relatively easy to explore by bike, which we really love. Um, but the thing that tips it over to the Philippines is the beaches. We have been to many places around the world with the azure blue water, uh, including the Maldives, and the Philippines for us is the best that we've seen. Out of all of the six points that we have highlighted, both nature and people go to the Philippines. They've won that. They've got two points out of six. But not just two points in this little terrible comparison. This is like world, world class and worth visiting Philippines alone just for these reasons. Even though Thailand won four to two, if I had to choose where I would go tomorrow, I would choose the Philippines hands down. Yes, I second that actually. <laughs> and the main reason for this is that I have the most fun and I feel the most excited when I go to the Philippines for the sense of adventure that it always, always provides. In Lechon, but one of the most famous and the most beloved in all of the Philippines is in Cebu. And so this is one of the best places to eat lechon in Cebu, but it has they have just opened a branch in Manila. Cheers. Cheers. Bam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Mark. Crunchy. Oh, it's ridiculously crunchy. Mm. Oh, oh, that's insane. That's insane. Mm. It's so crispy. It's actually like one of the crispiest things you could possibly eat in the whole world. Let me taste the meat real fast. How is the meat? Oh, you haven't gone to the meat. I haven't even made it to the meat yet. Wow. You can just taste all of those herbs. You can taste the lemongrass just embedded into that meat. This is one of those pieces of meat that you just actually want to, you barely even want to chew. You just want to leave it in your mouth and just <laughs> suck on it. The contrast of the, the most crispy thing you could possibly put in your mouth with the most creamy, tender thing you could possibly put in your mouth, both together at once. Yeah, it's, it's insane. My sister Charlotte and I spent one month in the Philippines and honestly, we could have stayed way longer. We loved it so much here. This was our favorite country in all of Southeast Asia. Cebu and Alito were the two islands we spent most of our time on. So I figured I would let you guys know our favorite things to do on these islands. It's actually one of the best sunset spots i ever been to. Number two is the famous island tours in El Nido. I know I've been throwing the word beautiful around like confetti, but it's true. The island tours here in Philippines are the most beautiful island tours I've ever been on. The landscape here is just so insanely stunning. There are a few different island tours you can choose from. There is a way to work around it. They know how to do it. Seriously, this is just paradise. The water is so clear and clear for such a long way. You've got the sun beaming down on the sandbar, so therefore it, it looks so much longer than it actually is because the sun is shining down onto the light blue water. Oh, it's just beautiful. I really want to get in there. Philippines teach me how to be grateful and how to actually, I don't know, just realize a lot of things for the first time. And it may sound weird, but living in Southeast Asia for the last nine months and then now coming back to Germany, it just blew my mind. It's just so many things that I haven't seen before. I mean, 
it's a rich Germany is a rich country you gotta say that people have everything of course you have homeless people there and there but the way that people look at material things it's just completely different everyone everyone wants more and more of material things they only work for material things as in the Philippines people work to take care of their family they work to make to sure that they have something to eat to, to live and in the Philippines for me living like the the word life means completely something different than in Germany in Germany you have a fancy house after the fancy house and people don't really appreciate it for them it's normal and in the Philippines people are just grateful it just means something and that's I get goosebumps right now look <laughs> <laughs> I have goosebumps and, and the, the last, last point the last one guys it is, is for sure hello hello hello. Hello. <laughs> hello hello changed our lives I miss so much wow that's what you call free water guys and together we go This pursuit was never about carrying my own name on a sash across my chest. It was about carrying my beloved Philippines every step of the way. I carried my nation as they carried me. On December 17th in Bangkok, Thailand, one Filipina's dream came true. But the crown isn't my greatest honor of my life. It was in bringing pride to my country of the Philippines that remains to be my greatest honor and my crowning glory.